Hello everyone, this is Alejandro and in this tutorial we will see how we can create a studio lighting or a photo studio lighting like the one that you can see here. In order to build this we will be using uh, two features. One is the soft shadows so we can achieve these really nice shadows here in the background and also we will be using uh, the new primitive which is called the backdrop. The, this new primitive allows us to create this uh, infinite plane here which is pretty common in photography studios to create like a seamless uh, background all right so uh, i'm just going to switch to this new file and the first thing i want to do is to create a simple sphere so i'm just gonna go here and maybe place this sphere right in the middle um, i'm going to disable my snapping now and now i'm just going to create a backdrop object so just going to do something like that i think that's okay and then um, i'm just going to resize and move this object to make it uh, bigger right so you can press alt to increase the size and now i'm just going to make it a little more taller here i'm also going to increase the corner radius to be something like that perhaps maybe move it a little bit here i think that is uh, good enough for now i'm going to press alt r to reset my view and i'm going to switch to perspective and now i'm going to turn on the soft shadows here and then i'm going to select my light and i'm going to increase the penumbra so it's a little more soft in here what i want now is i want to just uh, play around with the colors of the background so i'm going to use an overlay for the lighting and then i'm going to change the color to be somewhere like little pink color but very bright i'm also going to use a uh, shininess of zero in the lighting itself and perhaps this is going to be a little more like this very subtle and for the sphere i want also an overlay and very similar color but perhaps a little um, darker and also zero on shininess for now and maybe perhaps uh, here we can have a little bit more of saturation right so now it looks more interesting you can set up your light and you can play around with the penumbra settings to make the shadow uh, a little more blurry if you want to and also you can add other objects so let me first create like a material for this so i'm going to convert this into a material so it's going to be the base color and now i can press command and duplicate this object by dragging make it a little bit smaller perhaps we can add um, a cube so I'm gonna go here to the top view and maybe we can have a little cube here on top of everything and we can put this so let's reset our views again and make this cube a little bit smaller and then just increase it around corners and we can choose the base color as well so maybe instead of another sphere this side, we can also use our cube. Um, well, actually, it's very cool that it's uh, casting the shadow here. So maybe we can leave it like that. So it's like casting a shadow right there. You can also change the color of this, for example, maybe this could be a little more purple color, right? Um, so let's say we can make uh, this into another material. This could be base uh, two and we can use this color in here as well this one as well uh, this one maybe could be a little brighter for example could be something like that and we can make that base uh, three and we can use that color in here as well so actually for this one maybe we can reduce the lighting and then uh, we can make it darker then uh, you can also change the position of the light so for example if I move my light here you can see how everything changes right I do want to change the background here to be something like this so it kind of like meets with the with this object another thing that we can try is using a very different type of lighting right so far we're using this directional light but we can also try using for example uh, maybe something like a spotlight so, so if you create a spotlight then you can move maybe the spotlight to the top maybe a little bit to this side we can rotate the light here and now let's reset our camera again if you change the edge blurriness here you can uh, see how things change right so that's uh, pretty interesting you can also change the angle and then um, this is gonna give us just a different type of uh, effect depending on what you're looking for this might be what you want uh, you can also adjust here the background if you want to so um, 
I maybe perhaps I can move this uh, light to the back so it cover more area and then I can increase the penumbra so we have a little more blurriness there alright so that's how you can use the combination between soft shadows and the backdrop to create um, this sort of photo studio uh, lighting uh, effects um, you can obviously continue playing around with your lights and finding uh, like better scenarios and lightings for your project so I hope this uh, tutorial was helpful for you see you in the next time bye bye